a 1 kilogram block is dropped onto a 0.9 kilogram cart traveling at 3 meters per second to the right. The block lands on the cart and immediately comes to rest on the cart. Find the velocity of the cart and the block immediately afterwards. What idea should we use to solve this problem? Conservation of momentum. This is a collision problem because the block collides with the moving cart and comes to rest on top of it. During this collision, the block and the cart exert forces on each other. Which force causes the block to come to rest on top of the cart? It's friction. You can probably imagine that the block would not be able to come to a stop relative to the cart if the top of the cart is very slippery. This friction that is uh, parallel to the contact surface goes to the right on the block and to the left on the cart. They are a pair of equal and opposite action force and reaction force. If we ignore the friction between the cart and the floor, then the net force on the whole system is zero in the horizontal direction. So the momentum is conserved in the horizontal direction. Initially, the cart is the only one with a horizontal momentum. So the initial momentum is the m times v of the cart. Afterwards, they are stuck together, so they have the same final velocity. They move together 1.9 kilograms, and they move with uh, this final velocity we do not know. So we solve this equation, we get the final velocity to be 1.42 meters per second. And that's a positive velocity, so it's the same direction as this positive 3. So this final velocity goes to the right. Because the momentum is conserved, so afterwards there's more mass moving, therefore the velocity is less than before. Let's try to see if the car slows down after a block lands on it. It does slow down, right? Now, what about the vertical direction? Do you think momentum is conserved in the vertical direction during this collision? Obviously not. Before the collision, the block has a downward momentum, but afterwards, there is no vertical momentum left. If the momentum is not conserved in the vertical direction, the net force in the vertical direction must not be zero. And this is indeed the case. The moment the block lands on the card, the normal force from the floor is more than the weight of the card plus the block. This provides an upward net force to slow the block down to a stop in the vertical direction. You can try dropping something into your hand to feel the extra normal force when the object lands on your hand. <laughs> 